Hello, this is Korobi Vesporua. I'm an associate professor in the Public Affairs program in the College of Architecture, Planning and Public Affairs at the University of Texas at Arlington. This is my project, Sync or Async, what works in online graduate programs. I am a fellow of the professional learning communities here at UT Arlington and as part of being a fellow, I analyze the use of synchronous and asynchronous instructional techniques in two of my courses in the public administration program. This program is online and the courses are eight weeks long and uh, students take them sequentially and these courses have a variety of assignments requiring both synchronous and asynchronous interactions. I examine the application of these techniques via Blackboard-based assignments, pre-post-test assessments, and 15 live sessions on Saturday mornings. Results suggest that the synchronous live sessions complements the asynchronous assignments by enhancing interaction with instructor and peers, and assisting with course concepts clarifications. However, these sessions are challenging to schedule requiring intensive pre-implementation planning and instructor engagement. Yet, both sync and async techniques add value to online learning. There have been several research done on asynchronous and asynchronous techniques in online learning and in online programs. The benefits of asynchronous techniques is that uh, they are flexible and it reflects the student population who take online courses just because it works with their schedule. Also, asynchronous techniques are learner specific and, are, and can be customized to the learners. In case of synchronous techniques in online programs, um, they have been shown to um, increase interaction between instructors and peers. They are considered to be low cost and very user friendly. The cons of both asynchronous and synchronous techniques in online learning is that collaborative work or group work can be very challenging. So I begin this project with the research question, what is the effect of the application of synchronous and asynchronous instruction in online education? And do synchronous sessions result in higher student engagement and collaborative activity? My sample in this project are 75 graduate level students in two online courses. The techniques that I used were in synchronous I used Blackboard Collaborate and Instant Messaging and then in asynchronous, I used Blackboard discussion boards and Blackboard assignments. And I scheduled the live sessions using Doodle Poll. The assessments that I used are pre-post tests, 15 live sessions on Saturday mornings, each about two hours, several asynchronous assignments, and also group work among students requiring synchronous activities. Here is a snapshot of the results from the pre-post test. In course A, 27 students responded and in course B, 29 students responded. And among these students, 90% of them said that synchronous sessions are important for them, are meaningful for them, they feel connected to the instructor and peers, and that it encourages collaborative learning, clarifies concepts and assignments, and adds value to online coursework. Here is a side-by-side -side representation of student responses and my own reflections during this project. So these are my overall findings. So within student responses, um, a majority of them said it adds to the student learning experience. As for my reflection, I realized that it requires a high amount of initial planning and scheduling. Students said that it, uh, live sessions or synchronous sessions enhances interaction between instructor and students and between students. 
My reflection is that it's again highly instructor or facilitator intensive during the whole process. Third biggest finding was that the live sessions are difficult to schedule for the student. My reflection is that live sessions are challenging to schedule, especially since they have to be done during weekends, which may not be favorable for all students. Here are my overall observations from the live sessions conducted in spring 2016 during the duration of this project. My first observation is that few st students did not participate in any of the synchronous sessions, although at least two were required in order to earn a grade. Second, few students needed training in Blackboard Collaborate and Blackboard Instant Messaging, so I had to walk them through on how to download, how to work the different features within the chat box and the video feature and so on and so forth. Third, even after the training, there was minimal use. Maybe one or two students used the video and voice feature in Collaborate. Most of them used the chat feature and therefore it was very difficult to keep track of the comments and the questions posted in the chat box. And that leads to my fourth observation, it's that it's very difficult to keep track of who attended and or participated when there are more than 20 participants uh, or 20 attendees during these live sessions. Finally, what works, sync or async in online courses? My results and observations suggest that it is a balancing act where asynchronous techniques of instruction with some synchronous sessions can really enhance the student learning experience as these techniques complement each other. Second, a lot of intensive pre-implementation planning and scheduling is required for both asynchronous instructional materials and synchronous instructional sessions and instructors must be cognizant of that to increase student participation. Third, any synchronous technique that is easy for both instructor and students will work. Since our learning management system is Blackboard and students are comfortable with Blackboard, I used features embedded within Blackboard such as Collaborate and Instant Messaging. However, I realized that using both Collaborate and Instant Messaging simultaneously was not a good idea as it was hard for me to keep track of the questions and comments posted on each tool. So if the instructor is facilitating a session alone, then it is better to use one specific tool for a constructive interaction. Last, are synchronous sessions worthwhile? The answer to this question is overwhelmingly positive. This this answer is based on the question that I pose at the end of each live session for real-time student feedback. So my question is, was this session helpful? And the responses are almost always very helpful, really appreciate your time, thank you, and so forth. And one student said, best thing ever since sliced bread. So yes, asynchronous and synchronous techniques can be very effective for online learning. Thank you very much for listening to me. If you have any questions or comments, please post them here or email it to me at bezborua at uta.edu. Thank you so much for your time.